uh, what are some of your favorite breaks, man? Like, if I'm at a if I'm at a Detroit jam, what 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 break is gonna get the the whole just building rocking? I mean, the classic for me, and it's just to this day, it would just never go away. Is uh, and I know people might say, "Oh, that's old," but um, aren't they all? <laughs> Jimmy Castor, but you know, what I'm saying, rest in peace. Uh, just begun. You know that that song is special to me, man. Like. And it's special to a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So anytime that comes on, you know what I'm saying, for me, you know, it just, that just brings me to a certain particular time and it's just a certain feel, you know what right. I'm saying? That's like an anthem for me. But uh, I mean, you know, really, I, I just feel like, you know, through just, you know, I traveled a lot and stuff like that. So we had phases where, you know, of course, you know, People would play, you know, you know, whatever is hot, you know, whatever's they play at the jam, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's the new music, the new mixes, things like that. So, um, and, you know, I always been like the type of person that like, I always kind of like wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted like, just I'm just innovation for me is just like a key thing. So it's like if I was a producer or, or a DJ, I would have a different take on certain things. So, right. um, you know, but yeah, I mean, we 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 definitely have, um, you know, I mean, Detroit is like, you know, we it's a special place for music, and right. I just wish like producers and people would, you know act like it you know what i'm saying like <laughs> we're not supposed to do what other people do you know what i'm saying like right it's okay to you know have you know our, our own approach or uh whatever you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. let's not try to be like other places and people like that so you know coming from that type of cloth man you know um and then you know sometimes it's hard to like you know, really get that across to the younger generations and stuff, you know, because, you know, me, you know, for me, man, I, I love and I always respect, like, the people who came before me. So that's why I did, like, you know, the documentaries and things like that, because that was key. And we didn't have a social media. We couldn't just look stuff up. So that was the way we did it. We had to seek it out. And that lets you know, like, how passionate you were about something, if you were willing to save up your money and go take a flight across the United States to, you know, to get closer and get more information. So right. I just feel like now, you know, the, um, it's just, it's, it's just totally changed. But then I think again, again, you don't want to come off as like one of those bitter OGs either. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, right. It's a weird situation we in right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Because, um, well, well, when I think of Detroit, um, my favorite thing now the, the band wasn't from detroit but motown put the record out and that's uh wes henderson reality and apparently it was supposed to be um their answer to like Jimi hendrix wow. so yeah so if you ever get a chance you can yeah, you can youtube it out. yeah wes henderson w-e-s henderson reality and yeah. it's it's like a funky rock break wow. i think it's dope yeah yeah so you know, anytime you get some time. Um, so you were talking about like not being the bitter OG. So in today's uh, breaking culture, you have DJs like the top tier DJs are making their own original breaks. Yeah, right. You, yeah, you, yeah. And so like, do you prefer I'm assuming that you prefer the funk breaks over the, the new breaks? Would that be I don't want to speak not for necessarily, you. not necessarily because. <clears throat> wow, this is a good one, because. Uh, Ah, uh, like, like, like I say, you know, funk to me is funky. You know what I'm saying? For my whole thing was was that hard, edgy type vibe. So yeah, I did like. Uh, I felt like you know, like in in Detroit in the clubs, all they played was rap music. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was breaking to. So it was a little bit slower. So when I went to New York and it was playing all of this, this old stuff, I'm like. I can't get with it. I can't really move the same. I can't really respond the same. I did a few years before coming here and it was all to like, you know, these, you know, just this boom bap, you know, hip hop, you know, 
stuff. That's what they was playing in the club. So that's what my cloth. And I still to this day is just a little bit. But I, you know, now that like I understand tops more, you know what I'm saying? And like just that whole vibe, you you get how the funk is necessary. You know what I'm saying? So I have a whole new respect of funk and appreciation for it. But at the beginning it was not like that. The way these these producers now are doing it, there's some is good and some is not, but it's, it seems like the production is not all the way there. It seems like it's uh, it's like not high end, but it's good for like, you know, quick break beat, you know, it's, it's got that vibe to it, but you know, it's not like put, put together in the best way or, or it's not like, you could tell it could have been taken further. You know what I'm saying? Like. It could, it could be like one of those timeless type, making a track that's timeless as opposed to like, you know, just this quick break and boom, boom, just feel. That's cool. You know, um, you know I get down with it. I do get down with it. Um, and I know we got that whole political game where like, you know, now you're censoring certain music off the internet. So you got to watch what you play. And, and that's why a lot of the music is like really a certain way but then the b-boys complain about it so it's like you have to be a digger yourself you know what i'm saying like what you like create your own playlist things like that so um, i kind of do that Um, yeah man i think um like for me it's funny that you talk about um breaking in a club because when i started breaking I, i you know i was basically by myself I learned the six step off of a piece of paper that I printed out. It was like, get in a push up position, raise your right hand, put your left foot through. I was like, okay. And um, so I didn't know about, you know, about breaks and stuff like that. So, and I didn't have a crew, it was just me. So when I would go to the club with my homeboys, that's where all my breaking would happen. Um, You know what I'm saying? It would be be practice at the gym, Monday through Friday, uh, Friday night and Saturday. We're going to be in some club, either in, you know, where we were or a lot of times we would go to Canada and we would go to the club and that's where all everything popped off. So even now to this day, when I practice, like um, I'm the same, like I like to listen to rap songs, but I speed them up. You know, you know, technology allows us to do that. So I I, I speed it up to a to a like a a speed that I like and I just I just go, you know, so I think that's the essence of like what how b-boy evolved anyway you know what i'm saying where they were taking these funk tracks and you know just taking certain parts of it because this was like they knew this was the future which turned into like you know rap boom back production you know but now you know it seemed like it's kind of separated but i always felt like this word was the b-boy trying to go in this direction mm-hmm. but then you have some jams where it's just all funk you know what I'm saying? And, and for me, I'm a person that, you know, I don't know, I just can't fake it if I'm not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I, so I just, it's just that dynamic that's there, you know? Right. And I, yeah, I, I'm with you on that too. I think that's why, like, even though I really love Top Rock, I've re- I, most times I stay away from Top Rock competitions because I don't know what they're going to play. And a lot of times they just play to me what I consider to be the randomest of songs. And I do the randomest of moves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just out there and you can see on my, it, it, you know, it, it's like now I said, it ain't hard to tell. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out there like, okay, okay. You know? But so. yeah, I know you do your thing because you won, what, the Under Pressure uh, 2019? Top yeah, three. man. I was, uh, it, what's funny about that is um, up until they played one song, I, I wasn't really even feeling those songs too much. And uh, I remember that, um, but I was just like, nope, we d- we don't flew from Arizona to Montreal. Uh, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get this thing going. You know what I'm saying? 